Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and I have a warm-up exercise for you today, where I'm going to show you this fun little riff that goes between an A minor and a C. Okay, we're going to look at some alternating bass notes for the A minor and the C, and we're going to bring in this little riff to connect the dots, right? Good fun, good fun, good fun. Now, this one is coming in by request to one of my very first supporters on Patreon.com. So Patreon is a way for you all to support me if you appreciate these lessons. And in return, you get these very fine handcrafted printouts that I make for each lesson. I have one for this lesson as well. It's a great way to really learn the things that I'm teaching, video after video, lesson after lesson. I'm also going back through my back catalog of lessons and making printable versions of those as well. So it's a great way to show your support. Thanks to all of you who already support me. And with that said, let's get to this lesson and I uh, hope you dig what you hear here. All right, so let's go. All right, y'all, so to learn this riff, we're gonna break it in two real parts. First up is going to be the sort of uh, distinctive little walk downs that happen bef before the A minor, before the C as well. Just going to repeat those riffs over and over again and add strumming in between, right? So I'm going to talk about the strumming in the second half of this lesson, but look, look at these riffs first. So the first one and the second one are very similar. You have the first couple notes that are the same, right? The first one is the second one. So the each of them are going to start with, the, with the, the same first three notes, okay? So we're going to be on the fourth string. And we're gonna go open fourth string, second fret fourth string, and back to open fourth string. Okay, and we're gonna play that second fret with our middle finger. This is really important because this is gonna set our fingers up to do the A minor and the C chords that we're gonna to need to do, okay? So you wanna use your middle finger, fourth string, second fret. So open, second, open. And then this is where the riffs deviate. For the, the riff that goes to the A minor, the fourth note is gonna be this fifth string third fret with your ring finger, okay? And this is actually like the bass note of a C, you might notice. But what's gonna happen is after this note, we're gonna go to the open fifth string, which is the bass note of an A minor. And we wanna get our left hand in that A minor position, okay? So. And it's important you get your left hand in that A minor position, okay? Now, for the second riff, we're gonna start off the same way, but then the next note is gonna be middle finger on the fifth string second fret, and then bring that ring finger back to its C bass note, and then play a C chord, okay? Okay, so. So, all right, so now that you've got those riffs, let's look at a way you can sort of get things into the sort of uh, shape of the whole song here. So what we're gonna do is play the riff once and going into the A minor chord. And then repeat the A minor three times. And then do the C riff. And then repeat. When I play the chord, what I'm doing there is I'm playing the bass note of the chord and then strumming the whole chord, okay? So bass, strum, bass, strum, bass, strum. Bass, strum, bass, strum. Strum, bass, strum, bass, strum. Bass, strum, bass, strum, bass, strum. Okay, so I recommend doing this part as I just showed, because it helps you sort of put the licks into the overall context, right? If you do the lick, and then you're gonna do sort of the, you know, three or so kind of strums for each chord, and then do the next lick, and then do three strums for that chord, and you wanna repeat it. And the goal here is to be able to play what I just did, however slow or fast you need to, but do it so you can do it at a consistent pace. And that might need to be really slow at first, and that's okay. But basically, once you have that, then what we can do is start working on the strumming. So that's, this is the second part of the lesson starting now. In the second part of the lesson, what we wanna do is look at um, how we can sort of 
turn this strumming up to the next level. So let's start with the A minor chord. What we're gonna need to do is alternate the bass note, okay? So that's a regular A minor chord. We wanna be alternating between a fifth string, sixth string, fifth string, sixth string, okay? And the C is similar, but the only thing that's different is on the C we need to move our ring finger from the third fret Fifth string to the sixth string. Fifth string to the sixth string. Okay, so the first thing I would do is just get good at doing this. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Now, from there, what we want to do is basically do a um, instead of just doing a bass down, bass down, bass down, bass down. We want to do a bass down, up, bass down, up, bass down, up, bass down, up. So now we're gonna bring in the lick, okay? So. Down up bass, down up bass, down up lick. Bass, down up bass, down up bass, down up lick. Bass, down up bass, down up bass, down up lick. Bass, down up bass, down up bass, down up lick. Okay, and it just repeats, okay? So, the final thing I'll say to get this to be the uh, three-star version, if this is Angry Birds or whatever, is you wanna do a, uh, do the lick. So what's going on there is you're gonna do the lick and it's actually gonna look like this. You're gonna do a bass down up, bass up, down up, bass up, down up, lick. Bass down up, bass up, down up, bass up, down up, lick. Bass down up, bass up, down up, bass up, down up, lick. Bass down up, bass up, down up, bass up, down up, lick. Right? And so again, it's uh it's bass down up, and then you're gonna do a bass up, down up, bass up, down up on the the remaining like, what, eight strums or six strums of each measure. So that sounds like this, and this is trickier to do, but here's what it sounds like. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. That's the riff for this One Horse Town song. I hope you really enjoyed this, and if so, uh, remember, you can support me on Patreon for just a few bucks a month. You get access to this lesson, the printout, and all the other new and recent lessons I've done, and I'm always going back to my back catalog as well and sort of making those into printable lessons as well. So I'm building an empire of guitar printables for you to sort of learn outside of your computer and phone. I hope that's a good thing for you. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a good one. PlaySongNotes.com, and this is David Potts. Have a good night, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.